Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So I have here for you uh, Ascension versus Mission reading for the month of November. Now, I know I realize that it is the end of November. It's uh, November 25th as of the moment that I am recording this. But um, I'm glad that this happened now. As many of you in the Twin Flame Collective know, there has been a massive, massive shift in the energies. Many of the uh, the Divine Feminines have walked away from the situation altogether. Um, and there's there's just been a lot of energy around moving forward, moving on, um, being true to yourself, staying true to your mission, staying true to what it is you want to be doing in your life. And a lot of that is coming from this new sense of self-love that many in the Divine Feminine Collective have come to terms with. And so because of that, you know, the doors are closing between the situation, the relationship between her and her Divine Masculine, because she is attracting more self-love, uh, uh, well, she's attracting more love through self-love into her life. Um, so I really wanted to do a, do a Ascension versus Mission reading now because the energies are ripe for it. They're primed for it. There's a, a brand new chapter is starting for a lot of us and you're gonna see that in these readings here, yeah? So please keep in mind that this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I have split this between Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, so there are two videos for um, the collective. Um, I encourage you guys to watch both because we ultimately we do have Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine energies within. And so if you're a Divine Feminine watching this right now um, and you go off to watch the Divine Masculine reading, instead of just looking at it from a point of view of what is your Divine Masculine up to, look at how, try and see how it resonates with you or with you, with your own inner Divine Masculine energies, yeah? Uh, other than that, these readings are available for personal situations. So if you would like a, a glimpse or a snapshot into where you are when it comes to Ascension versus Mission, please don't hesitate to go ahead and uh, send me an email and uh, ask for one. They are in the format of mirror readings, so that is going to be the same price as a mirror reading. But just go ahead and email me and let me know that you're interested in an Ascension versus Mission reading tailored to your personal experience, and I will get that scheduled for you, yeah? Okay, so without further ado, let's get to it. All right, Divine Masculine, let's get into this. See where you are in relation to Ascension versus Mission, yeah? Excellent. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the Divine Masculine Collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Please show us where the Divine Masculine Collective is in terms of Ascension, represented by the deck on the left, and Mission, represented by the deck on the right. And please show us how they are interacting with each other, um, how the energies are interacting with each other, and how they could potentially be mirroring each other. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Divine Masculine, I'm gonna start by shuffling your Ascension deck. Um, I'm seeing a lot of blue energy around you right now. So there's a lot of truthfulness that I'm hearing that needs to be spoken, that is being spoken, but also that's being realized for you. And I really feel like that is propelling you on some, uh, on, your, on your Ascension process which would then even lead you further or closer towards your mission work, okay? But truthfulness, truth, excuse me, truthfulness, truthfulness and honesty is really what's needed here the most. And it really isn't this doesn't really have to be for anyone else other than yourself. I mean, really I feel like many of you just really just need to work on being honest with yourself. And, and a lot of what the Divine Masculine deals with is the people-pleasing aspect of our lives, of our society, wanting to be, like, you know, being the providers for the families in many cases and wanting to make sure that everybody is taken care of. But you need to be able to take care of yourself first in order to do that for others. And the first way that you care for yourself is by being honest with yourself. So what is what does honest being honest with yourself mean? 
asking yourself, am I truly happy here? Is this really what I want to be doing? Is this authentic to who I am? Is this uh, providing me with greater foundation in my own personal authenticity? You know, just get real with yourself about the situation, yeah? I'm going to do one more shuffle here, and then we're going to get into your mission deck. And then we're going to start with the Ascension, okay? Excellent. Ascension is set. I feel like something is something turned over. Nope. Okay, good. So we're going to cut the deck here. Boop. All right. Ascension is set. So now let's, let's get into your mission deck. Now... I'm hearing some of you are really craving a change in direction in your life, moving towards more fulfilling things. Um, and that's really only going to come again when you are truthful and honest with yourself. I'm hearing the song Constant Craving playing in my head right now. And I really feel like <clears throat> a lot of you, for the most part, for a long time, have been craving something new, something more fulfilling. It's almost as if you've done everything that you needed to do or could do, or, you know, in your current circumstances or situation, um, but, or, or, and on top of that, and, or you're looking for something that's more fulfilling. And it could be, you know, some of you might be jumping from thing to thing, getting some sort of instant gratification, but then that fizzles out quickly. And it's like you don't want to be in that anymore. You want to be in a situation where, you know, you're constantly being fulfilled. But again, you got to be truthful and honest with yourself in order to even begin to get to that state, okay? I'm going to do one more shuffle for you in terms of mission, and then we're going to get into your Ascension deck and see where you are. All right. All right, guys. Here we go. Boop. All righty. So a mission is set. Let's get into Ascension here. Overall energy, we're starting you off with the Page of Pentacles. Excellent. So... There is an energy of starting over. This is a messenger. Um, but this is a new start in truthfulness and honesty. Okay? Because the Page of Pentacles is very honest, very loyal, um, truthful, is, is a messenger, is naive, just like any of the other pages. But this is... This is only naive. This is only being naive in the sense of being new to this new form of honesty. This is also I'm getting an energy for some of you. This is wanting to start a new commitment, and this is starting a new commitment in a way that you never really approached or honored in this way in the past. Okay, you're wanting to start over. You're wanting to start new, and that's a good thing. You have the Three of Pentacles, you have the Page of Swords, and you have the Ace of Wands. So there you go. There's that inspiration to start something new. Some of you are awakening to the spiritual journey. I just saw 555 five, five on the counter, so there's some, there are some really massive major changes that may be happening for some of you. Um, some of you are now becoming aware of the spiritual path, uh, the spiritual journey, um, some of you are becoming aware of the twin flame situation, the twin flame journey. Um, and so you're wanting to, you, well, you're getting inspired by it. This is, could also be what is inspiring you to do something new in your life. But also you have another page here, the page of swords. And this page of swords is about learning, seeking out new information, understanding this this new inspiration that you're feeling, okay? And you, the three of pentacles here, this is entrepreneurship, sure. Teamwork, sure. But this is also uh, self-mastery, okay? So you're really being inspired. Some, A lot of you are really coming, uh, becoming aware of the spiritual journey and you're wanting to put, or you're learning how to put in this work to master yourself. Okay, to bring greater self-mastery into your existence. And that is excellent, Divine Masculine. For your first set of surrounding energies, when it comes to uh, ascension, you have 
the hermit. Excellent. So inner, finding your inner light is what I just heard. Um, many of you may be in hermit mode right now. You could be going into hermit mode right now. I know the divine feminine is doing that. Um, excuse me. But um, the hermit is about going within and finding your inner light. The hermit is about teaching and about learning. You teach by th through what you learn. So you go within and you learn about yourself and then you emerge with this greater light and from there you teach others. But you're in this process right now of finding your inner light, okay? Finding more of your inner light and maybe not even finding it. You may have found it already, but you're also in the process of understanding it better. Okay. You may be seeking out some sort of guru. You may be learning from someone that does spiritual teachings, um, stuff like that. And that's all helping you to shine more of your light. Okay. The hermit is coupled with the six of swords. The divine feminine got this energy, this exact card in the, uh, in her ascension reading. So here you have some mirroring between you and the divine feminine, the six of swords. You're moving on to something new. This is definitely the, an energy of moving on and finding some, finding your inner light, moving from rough waters to calmer waters. Those rough waters are the past, um, the situations in the past that you've been dealing with surrounding twisted masculine energy. And that's excellent. So you're really making some strides. You're really moving forward to something brand new, divine, divine masculine, and that's fantastic. Second set of surrounding energies for your ascension, you have the four of cups. So... Uh, this card can often mean unrequited love. Uh, it can also mean a missed opportunity. Many of you did miss an opportunity with your divine feminine. Okay. Um, now, what's all now? What what this is? What I'm getting with this right here? Within this deck, this person is actually more more focused on that single cup, whereas in that ace of cups, whereas in other decks. The person is more, the individual in this card is more focused on the Three of Cups. But you see here, the Three of Cups is behind this woman and they're empty. But that Ace of Cups has a Lotus in there. Okay? So I feel like many of you that have, in fact, missed this opportunity, this opportunity with your Divine Feminine, definitely it was, I had a lot to do with society, with social accept, with social situations, third party situations, third party situations, not necessarily be meaning, um, you know, another romantic partner, but it could be friends, family, business, associates, a job, whatever. Okay. Anything that would get in the way of your, your relationship with your divine feminine. But because you have missed out on this opportunity with your divine feminine, you have actually been taught this lesson in self-love. And so now you may realize what you have lost. Of course, it's that old saying, you don't know what you got until it's gone. But now you're, you're more awakened and you're wiser. And now you're actually, you have been watching the Divine Feminine focus on her own Ace of Cups, filling her Ace of Cups as well. And now you are being influenced and inspired to do the same. You're no longer focusing on, or at least you're coming into an energy of no longer focusing on what the Three of Cups is going through, what, what, what the Three of Cups is representing for you, and now you focus more on your inner love, your inner peace, and loving yourself, okay? The Four of Cups is coupled with, oh man, the lovers. So this is that, this is the energies of the Divine Feminine. This is the energies of the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine within coming into union, okay? And so here, instead of focusing on those three cups behind you, you're now focused on that Ace of Cups, which is the Divine Union within. Loving yourself, filling your own cup. That's beautiful. Now, some of you... <coughs> Some of you actually actually could be turning away from any sort of three of three of cups energies, uh, uh, third party energies, and focusing on, you know, your relationship with your divine feminine. That's entirely possible. But I also I and that actually could come later because right now what you would need to be focusing on is this union between masculine and feminine within. Healing the wounds, not only that your own, that your inner divine masculine energy are, uh, may be affected by, but also your divine feminine energies, okay? The wounds that your divine feminine energies may be holding. Your current challenge when it comes to ascension, you have the queen of wands. 
So to me, this is a depiction of the divine feminine in the minor arcana. And the divine masculine would be the king of wands. Your current challenge is... <laughs> I'm hearing keeping up with your divine feminine. Uh, integrating with your inner divine feminine energies. Because that is really what's going to help propel you on this ascension process. Many of the divine masculines out there have outright rejected feminine energy. Have said to themselves or uh, allowed themselves to believe that feminine and the divine feminine... Uh, masculine or feminine, masculine, feminine energy is inadequate or, or is inadequate or is less than masculine energy. And so now you're having to rewrite that script and, ex and accept and integrate with your own inner feminine energies, the divine feminine within you. For some of you, the challenge is watching your divine feminine in the outside world thrive and wanting to be by her side with that, wanting to you know, be able to stand in your power the way she does. And that absolutely would be a challenge for you right now. <laughs> Queen of Wands is coupled with... Whoa! The King of Swords! Wow. My, my, my. That's very... That's really very... So this is more energies of the masculine and feminine energies coming... Becoming one within. And you really have to look at this situation as objectively as possible to understand what you have been missing about the divine feminine and about the feminine within you. There is also an, a, a challenge of looking past all of the logical, the logical nature of the masculine energies to see the truth and the value of the intuitive and emotional side when it comes to the feminine. I really feel like the King of Swords and the King of Wands, even though they really could be very good teammates, I feel like for many of you in the Divine Masculine Collective, these two are at odds with each other. And the challenge is to bring them into union. Okay? So Divine Masculine, when it comes to Ascension, you are very much working with the inner feminine and bringing masculine and feminine energies together. I mean, you even have it in the Three of Pentacles, which is talking about self-mastery, and you have a masculine and a feminine figure here working together. And that's great. Okay. Your final message here for uh, Ascension, Divine Masculine, you have the Ten of Cups. All of your wishes and desires... Everything that you've always wanted, everything that you would that you would consider emotional fulfillment. There's the family. Here is the final product of the union between masculine and feminine within. You have potential for a family. I mean, this is beautiful, divine masculine. That is coupled with the six of cups. Nostalgia, the past, soulmates, past lives, childhood. There's a lot of childhood healing that needs to happen. There's a lot of history from the childhood, from your childhood that needs to be resolved, that you are working on resolving. It is what you are, that's what you're resolving as you bring the masculine and feminine energies within together. But this is everything that you've always desired, even as a child coming into fruition, coming to you as you move through this ascension process. That is beautiful. So now let's get into your mission energies here. Overall, we're starting you off with the emperor. There you are, divine masculine. Stepping into your divine masculine power and stepping into mission. That's excellent. And you're doing this as you bring this masculine and feminine energy within into union and you find more of your inner light. You have the fool. You have the nine of cups and you have the wheel of fortune. My, my divine masculine. This is quite excellent. But you see, the key here, divine masculine, is to do your ascension work is to continue to allow yourself to find more and more of your inner light. 
and allow yourself to move in the direction that that dictates for you, that that pulls you in with the hermit and the six of swords here. But when you, but as you step, and this is something that you're really starting to come to terms with, you're starting to understand, which is why you have this inspiration when it comes to your ascension process. But when you really step into your true divine masculine power, you have a brand new beginning in wish fulfillment. The Fool and the Nine of Cups. You're really setting yourself up for to achieve the Ten of Cups here, which is, which is the final message for your Ascension reading. And the Wheel of Fortune is saying that everything is going to be turning in your favor, provided you continue to do the inner work. Karmic cycles are, are, are coming to an end. Excuse me, I had trouble getting that out. But karmic cycles are definitely coming to an end here. First set of surrounding energies for you, Divine Masculine, when it comes to mission, you have the Queen of Pentacles. This is you learning to be loving, nurturing, and caring. This is what will be coming forward for you as you bring more of your Divine Feminine energies into integration. This is also the potential for meeting uh, someone who will match you in the physical. Okay? It could be your divine feminine. It could be a soulmate. Depending on where you are, you know, in the situation between you and your divine feminine. Queen of Pentacles is coupled with... Wow! The Six of Swords again. And it this came out with... I mean, you've got the mirroring here, okay? You, you got it in the exact same position, but this happened for the Divine Feminine as well. The Six of Swords came out twice. For, mo for many of you, what I'm seeing, as I'm seeing the, king, the, the Queen of Pentacles here, I see you moving forward, moving on with a Divine Partner um, that isn't necessarily your Divine Feminine, but it's someone that would be in alignment with you that's going to help you Move forward on your mission and even in ascension. Uh, this could be a karmic partner or a soulmate. Now, any divine feminines out there that are watching this, uh, please don't freak out. Please don't fret. Um, ultimately, if either the divine masculine or the divine feminine were to move forward romantically, business-wise with someone else, it's for the highest good of all involved, okay? Okay. But this definitely could be, I'm really getting business here for, with, the, with the Queen of Pentacles. So there's definitely someone that, um, that could really be helpful to you as you move forward in your mission. That's, and, and this is happening because this individual can really provide something of value on your mission, to your mission work, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Divine Masculine, when it comes to mission, you've got, uh-oh, but here's the Queen of Wands. All right, so more mirroring because you have the Queen of Wands here. And now you have in the uh, challenge aspect of your ascension process. And now you have the Queen of Wands in your mission. This could absolutely be your Divine Feminine. But this is the this is the Divine Feminine within you coming forward and, and adding value to your to your mission work, especially with this falling under under the lovers here, which was talking about the, the, the union between masculine and feminine within, okay? The more you integrate, the more the Queen of Wands, the uh, divine feminine energies within you can help you on your mission. Queen of Wands is coupled with the Two of Swords. Now, as I was pulling that, I was also seeing for some of you, you could be moving away from a karmic partner with the Queen of Wands, uh, the Queen of Pentacles here and the Six of Swords. This could now for some of you, this is someone. Ah, now I get it. This is someone that has helped you on your mission process, but it has helped you by means of contrast. It has helped show you what it is you don't want what it is you don't want to be doing, how it is you don't want to be uh, working towards, you know, your mission work. 
It could be someone that has held you back because of materialistic circumstances. But now you have the Queen of Wands energy. You have the Divine Feminine energy here coming forward to with, towards you, but you're still indecisive about something with the Two of Swords. This might be whether or not you actually want to work with your Divine Feminine in the physical. And I don't mean energetically. I mean the, the person outside of you that embodies your the, the Divine Feminine energy that is your counterpart, okay? Very interesting. You're still indecisive about it. I feel like there are still energies of you not wanting to see things as clearly as possible. There's still some sort of resistance when it comes to working with your divine feminine. But that, um, working hand in hand on mission with your divine feminine, but that is going to come from, or that's going to be resolved from uh, working with your own inner light through your ascension process. You don't have to make this decision right now because I feel like there's still a lot of things that you have to work through in uh, internally in order to be able to make this decision here. Okay, but I do see you moving away from a karmic partner, and I did have it a that I, some of you could be moving away from one karmic partner to another that's going to help you on your mission. But others of you are working, are are walking away or moving away from a karmic partner that has kind of been holding you back because they've just been feeding your materialism. Okay, your challenge when it comes to mission, you've got. Wow, Divine Masculine, look at the mirroring here, the Ten of Cups. But this is where that truth and honesty comes into play. Why? Because in order for you to achieve this Ten of Cups, you have to be honest with yourself. You need to look at yourself and say, am I doing what I really want to be doing right now? And what is what I am engaging in, involving myself in, is that bringing forward or is that leading me to the Ten of Cups? You have a lot of mirroring here, Divine Masculine. Well, okay, you have a lot of mirroring between, no, you do, because you have the Six of Swords twice, you have the Queen of Wands twice, and now you've got the Ten of Cups twice, and you're mirroring the Divine Feminine in the Six of Swords coming out twice. That's amazing. The Ten of Cups in your challenge when it comes to mission is coupled with the Eight of Wands. Are you truly going after what it is that is leading you to your Ten of Cups? Shit, what is your Ten of Cups? That's a damn good question. I just heard you. some of you ask that. Well, what, is, what even is the Ten of Cups to me? That's where the honesty comes in. Be honest with yourself, Divine Masculine. Are you working towards what you truly want in life? And if you don't know what you want in life, it's time to figure that out. But I really feel like you're already in the process of doing so with the Hermit and the Six of Swords in your Ascension reading, in your Ascension spread. The Page of Swords even, learning about what this new inspiration is for you, which is helping you figure out what it is you truly want in life. Yes? Your final message when it comes to mission, Divine Masculine, you have, oh man, <laughs> more mirroring the Page of Swords. You're really learning right now, aren't you, Divine Masculine? I feel like a lot of you are probably really learning from your Divine Feminine. But you really have a desire to learn now. Something has been sparked within you with the Ace of Wands in your Ascension process and the Emperor here in your um, mission. You're really inspired towards something. You're really trying to learn something new. I feel that, and it's genuine. You're really trying to learn something new. And you're learning, you're learning how to communicate that to the world around you, okay? Page of Swords is coupled with... <sighs> You've got to be kidding me. Holy shit, the Page of Pentacles. Guys, that's you. Divine Masculine, look at this. This is in the overall energy for your ascension process, Page of Pentacles and Page of Swords. And the closing message for your mission process is the Page of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. I mean, you're mirroring yourself here. This is... And there's really... 
I'm sorry. My mind is kind of blown here, but wow. You're really starting over. You're really starting over, Divine Masculine. And that is such a beautiful thing. I mean, I swear to God, it's such a beautiful thing, Divine Masculine. I, you're learning to be more honest, more sincere, more committal. You're learning to align yourself with situations that you will want to maintain a commitment with because it will be more authentic to you. Congratulations, Divine Masculine. You really, really come a very long way. You come very far. You come, you really have come full circle here with the Wheel of Fortune. That's beautiful. I'm really quite proud of you guys. All right, so we're going to close out the reading with some Oracle guidance here. We're going to start with the Crystal Mandala deck. For the Divine Masculine. All right. Divine Masculine. Best message, please, Spirit, in terms of mission versus ascension, ascension versus mission for the Divine Masculine. You ho, 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 ho. Look at that. The inner queen. I know that's right. This to me, I see this card and I see the divine feminine. The divine feminine is on the rise, all right? And she's really making her place, she's making herself known to you, divine masculine. And this is not in the way that you may have, she may have been in the past, like with your divine feminine in the physical world. No, the because the divine feminine in the physical world has really kind of walked away from the situation from for the most part. And so now you're left with your inner divine feminine and she cannot be escaped. Why? She is within you. And she is on the rise whether you like it or not. Okay, so the more you fight her, the more havoc she can create within your life. And I kind of just see her sitting there cackling like, yeah, you think you can run away from me, but you can't, broski. <laughs> you may have been able to run away from her or him, whoever they are out in the physical world, but you damn sure can't run from me. Just saying. Let's read this. The Inner Queen, card number 50. This is Goddess Persephone and Ruby. So I'm going to go ahead and say this is more mirroring in your reading because I'm definitely seeing the inner queen as the divine feminine and you got the queen of wands here twice. So this is energies of the divine feminine in the physical world that's coming through you physically. It's not necessarily just the spiritual aspect. This is the physical embodiment of the empress or the queen or I'm sorry, the, the um, divine feminine energies. Here we go. The inner queen. We bring you the empowerment of the inner queen. The inner queen exercises authority through divine feminine wisdom. Her empowerment is active within men and women that consciously seek to honor feeling, instinct, and intuition, and choose to live their lives according to a moral code of compassion. When the inner queen stirs within, judgment is replaced with empathy for your own suffering and that of others. You can understand that human beings who cannot resolve their suffering will unconsciously act out their pain in the world. They are unconsciously expressing their inner story with their, own, with their outer actions, the story of their inner pain. The healing power of the inner queen brings inner pain to consciousness where it can finally be released and the soul freed. This can happen because of her compassion. She does not approach life with a fearful or judging nature. So she can move freely through all realms, witness great pain and darkness, and remain centered in her heart, shining a gentle light of intention for the liberation from suffering from or for all beings. She reminds us of our innate divine dignity and the healing power of our compassion. Beautiful. So many of you are starting to really learn the lesson of those that act out of malice, of fear, of anger, are really only acting out their own inner pain, and you're starting to feel some compassion for them for the first time. Many of you are really getting acquainted with compassion. And what 
holding compassion or feeling compassion for someone truly means, what it truly feels like. That's beautiful. All right, Divine Masculine, final closing message for you in terms of mission versus ascension for this month of November from the Lightworker Oracle. All right, Divine Masculine, here we go. Best message, please, Spirit, for the Divine Masculine in terms of mission versus ascension. There it is. We have <clears throat> card number one. All right. First ray of power. So it's you're definitely starting new. Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords, twice. Ace of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. You're starting over. The Fool. The Hermit with the Six of Swords. I mean, these are all, I mean, even if you don't necessarily know what these cards mean individually because you don't practice or study the Tarot, these are all cards, as I'm pointing them out, that are leading to you moving in this new direction, starting afresh, starting new, starting over even. And here now you have the first ray of power, the first card in this deck. Wow, this is such a powerful reading. And I just, I literally, I was turning, I, I flipped open the book and I flipped open, <laughs> open to card number nine, Wisdom of the Divine Feminine. I'm just gonna leave that at that. I'm not gonna read it, but the Divine Feminine is really coming forward for you right now, Divine Masculine, and it's beautiful. You're integrating with it. There's nothing, and there's really nothing to be ashamed of, and I really think that's what you're learning here. All this time, there was all this stigma around femininity and accepting femininity in your life and accepting the inner, inner feminine, inner, inner divine feminine, and now you're seeing that was all pointless. Right? Here we go. First ray of power. The first ray of power is energy of conscious destruction. It can be used in a healthy way to eliminate the first, um, to eliminate the past, and allow for fresh a fresh start. The first ray also carries the frequency of leadership. It can assist you to stand in the truth of your light, so others can find their way by it. It helps to strengthen your willpower, so you can accomplish any task you choose. The, ascess the Ascended Master, El Moria, brings you his particular blessing and encourages you to believe in your own strength and take the initiative on what matters most to you. So this is very much a tower energy. It's destructive, yet creative in its destruction. If you are confused about which path to take or whether to continue a certain relationship, course of action, or a lifestyle choice, the first ray of power will clarify matters for you. So that's definitely being reflected here in the Queen of Wands and the Two of Swords. Not only are you having trouble accepting your Divine Feminine in her individual manifestation, but you're also having a trouble accepting or making a choice with your own inner Divine Feminine, okay? Okay, let's continue reading. When it moves through our lives, whether it's uh, whatever is holding us back will be removed, either through circumstances seemingly beyond our con own control or by our own actions, based on a sudden inner knowing, which would be that Ace of Wands. When the first when the first ray of power is indicated, a long term plan that was once important to you may suddenly seem as though it needs to change or even be released altogether. Or you may suddenly get the motivation to go for something you have been dreaming of for a long time. Once this ray affects your life, your understanding of what is helpful and what is not can change overnight. The changes will feel very true, freeing, and helpful. Those people, dreams, and opportunities that remain in your life afterwards have survived the onslaught of divine will. This means that the universe is confirming that they are meant to be a part of your journey at this time. The first ray of power also relates to matters of leadership and politics. Be open as to how your spiritual journey might be helpful in the world of politics 
whether that be through aligning yourself with a cause that resonates deeply in your heart or through bringing a more open and discerning viewpoint into the often deceptive world of politics. Speaking your truth will be very helpful at this time. What did I say? Speaking the truth, being honest with yourself, not only for you, but also for those around you who are willing to hear your voice and make your own choices from a clearer place within. Don't be afraid to be heard. Okay, here we go. Final message. Finally, when this ray makes its way into your life, it is time to accept the loving gauntlet being thrown down by the universe and take your hands off the controls of your life. Detach and be curious. You've got a shit ton of curious energy here with the page of swords twice. All right, so go with it. The universe will show you exactly what you need and remove what you do not. If something or someone is no longer a part of your life, it will be so that a more beautiful, truthful, and satisfying version of what you are surrendering can come into your world. Remember, the universe loves you and wants only the best and most beautiful life experience for you. Trust it enough to let it that happen now. Wow. That is, that's amazing, Divine Masculine. I mean, this reading for you is, I'm hearing very transformative. You're going through a very transformative period, and I, I, I couldn't be more proud. Like, you're really doing the damn thing, aren't you, Divine Masculine? Congratulations. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you, and I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!